other murders, two at his grandmother's home in West Allis, Wisconsin. That would bring the number of his alleged victims to 15. And Channel 5's Phil Walters is live in Milwaukee with the latest, Phil. Dahmer had already, of course, admitted to the uh, killing of those found in his apartment in Milwaukee and to a killing in Ohio that will be checked out tomorrow. Now, he says, three victims, three victims were killed at his grandmother's home in a Milwaukee suburb five or six years ago. He gave us descriptions of uh, uh, two additional Hispanic males uh, who have not been accounted for. Uh, one of the uh, Hispanic males uh, was uh, murdered in March of 85 or 86. Police say Dahmer was also uncertain as to exactly when he picked up the second Hispanic victim, perhaps in January of 85 or 86. The third victim killed in the grandmother's home has been identified as Anthony Sears of Milwaukee. His body had been taken to Dahmer's apartment from the grandmother's home, where it was found along with the 10 other bodies last week. While the investigation continues, the furor grows in the gay community. Not only were these men the victims of a mass murder, but also of a police department that did not even notice, much less act on the disappearances of so many young men, most of whom were gay, African-American, <coughs> and were last seen in the same neighborhoods. Gay and lesbian leaders are calling for an outside investigation of the police department after disclosures that officers let Dahmer keep a 14-year-old boy trying to escape the killer's apartment. The mayor and the state attorney general here in Wisconsin held a news conference this afternoon to uh, announce aid and assistance for victims' families, but they were interrupted by shouts of people demanding an outside investigation. We'll have more on that for you at 6 o'clock. A final note, the WTMJ here in Milwaukee, our sister station, is now reporting that police have reason to believe the Dummer had, aid, or had or has AIDS and is seeking a warrant to take blood for testing. Again, we'll have more at 6. That's it from Milwaukee. Phil Walters, back to you. Thank you, Phil. Authorities in Ohio said that he killed Stephen Hicks, an Ohio hitchhiker 13 years ago, beating him to death with a barbell. Police will search for Hicks's remains on the property of a home once owned by Dahmer's parents in Bath Township, Ohio, near Akron. The digging is scheduled to start Tuesday morning. For one South Side mother, the also want to know whether there is a connection. Well, I tell you, nobody know how I feel. Nobody. Ruth Kinsler is 71 and in failing health. A year ago, her 21-year-old son, Regner, disappeared from his near northwest side apartment. He had never been out of touch before. There's something wrong. He never in his life, never, never miss calling me or miss coming to see me. The boy was living an openly gay lifestyle, and his mother says he told her he frequented gay bars on the north side.